Hello guys and welcome to another video. Um, today I just wanted to really quick um, give you guys or bring to you guys a MX6 versus Cooler Master Master Gel Pro video and I thought I'll throw in Noctua's NTH2 thermal paste. Yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and take this card apart. Now, the reason why I like to use this particular car, this is the RX um, 470. I like to use this card because it doesn't have any thermal pads around the memory. Not that it is a good thing per se, right? Um, but for testing, this makes the perfect subject. So let's go ahead and take this apart. And I want to show you guys what I'm talking about here real quick. Okay, so, whoa, okay, this guy was just in a hurry to get off. Oh, and I got two more screws here to remove. Also, that's another thing that um, this particular card doesn't take much to take apart. There's only six screws that you need to worry about. Four for the, around the GPU and two for around the VRM. And that's it. So let's get this thing taken apart. Alrighty, so as you can see, we're making pretty good contact there. And I don't think it gets any better than that. Look at that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and clean this up and start with uh, Cooler Master Master Gel Pro, shall we? Alright, so now we got it all cleaned up. As it should be and uh, here I used to have uh, liquid metal uh, what is it uh, thermal grisly conducting out but um, that's just that was just for testing you know anyway um, and by the way that doesn't do anything to your performance as far as cooling this stain there absolutely nothing so we'll start with um, cooler master master gel pro We'll start with this. Let this set the uh, baseline. So we'll just apply a little bit of this stuff on there. That's enough there. And we'll go ahead and spread it. And this stuff is easy to spread as you can see. Uh, just got to cover the uh, corners here to make sure that everything is 100%. Okay, and that looks good to me. Okay, it'll still have some spread after installing the uh, heat sinks. So, all right, let's put this thing back together and I'll see you guys on the bench. All right, so the car is installed in the system. So you can see it there. And the idea is this. Uh, we'll go ahead and set the power limit all the way to the max. We will set the fan speed at a static 50% and static frequency of 1000 megahertz. Okay. Uh, this should give us a pretty consistent um, result for every test. As you can see there. The card is at a 100% load, 1000 megahertz, and we'll be using uh, CPU Z here for recording our max frequency, max temperature reached, and of course fan speed. So yeah, that'll record that. Uh, you can see the other yeah, parameters there. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just let this run. This has been running now for about two minutes. Let's go ahead and let this run for 30 minutes. We'll check the time there and see what type of results we get in the end. Okay, see you in a bit. All right guys, so we have reached the end of this test. It's been over 30 minutes actually. And the uh, max temperature reached with Cooler Master Master Gel Pro 
uh, it's been 78 Celsius and we're still at 100% load. So I'll go ahead and stop the test here, record that temperature, 78, and uh, we'll move on to the next test. All right, so now it's time for Noxua NTH2 and see how this goes. And as you guys can see, we have a perfect contact there from Cooler Master Master Gel Pro. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so let's uh, wipe this clean and uh, yeah, use Noxua NTH2. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this applied here. We just need a little bit. And this is one thing I like about Noxua H NTH2, that it's easily, it easily spreads. So it doesn't stick to your spatula much. Um, and it was easy with the uh, Cooler Master, Master Gel Pro as well. So kudos to Cooler Master there. Alrighty, so that's a good spread as far as I can tell. Okay, so let's put this thing back together and back on the bench. Okay, so Noxua NTH2 is back on the bench. All right, so again, same uh, parameters. As you can see, nothing's changed. And we're gonna wait another 30 or 40 minutes for this test to complete. And yeah, I'll come back to you then. All right, fellas, so we have reached the uh, end of this test. The test with the um, Noctua NTH2 thermal paste. Maximum temperature has been 75 Celsius, so three degrees lower than um, Cooler Master, Master Gel Pro. So you can see there, so it hovers around 74, 75, and it's just there. So, all right, now let's move on to MX6. All right, guys, so taking the card apart, you see it's pretty good contact there between the heat sink and the core. As you can see there, everything looks good. So let's clean this up and add MX6. All right, let's go ahead and apply MX6. That's all we need there. And like the uh, previous other two pastes, um, MX6 spreads real easy. Though, I don't know if you can tell from that angle yet that MX6 does have a darker uh, composition. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. So it is a darker color there. Um, it may have to do with the uh, obviously what the paste is made out of. Uh, you can go to their website if you want to get geeky like that. More details. I'm not going to do that here. Um, Okay, so let's get this put back together and throw it in a bench. All right, so here's the card installed yet again for the third time. And now we're testing with the same parameters. As you see there, everything is exactly the same. This is MX6. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes or it'll be a couple of seconds for you guys. All right, guys, so now we have reached the end of the MX6 test. Let's look at the uh, results here. So we reached a maximum temperature of 74 Celsius. So one degree better than Noxua M NTH2, which is really good, in my opinion. This uh, says a lot about both thermal pastes. 
Um, so yeah, let me just put up a graph and uh, we'll leave the video there, okay? You guys take care. I'll see you on the next one.